A day when the nation is honoring its veterans, there is a renewed push tonight in Cape Coral to get the Ten Commandments posted in City Hall. America has lost its moral compass. Dick Kalfas is the man behind the controversial plan. He's urging the mayor to revisit the idea now that there's a new council to consider it. NBC2's Alex Boyer has the story. From the turnout at today's parade, it's clear Cape Coral residents support their veterans. Community activist Dick Kalfas wants the city to show that same pride and appreciation for God. What we need is a uh, dramatic change in, in direction. That can only come about by including God in our daily living. Kalfas is calling on the mayor and new council members to embrace the controversial plan to display the Ten Commandments inside City Hall. The further we, we push God out of our lives, uh, the worst things are going to get. Mayor Sullivan supported the idea in the past and says he still does. Oh, I sort of like to see it happen. And so does political newcomer Lenny Nesta. Absolutely, I think it's a great idea. Don't count on Councilwoman Raina Erdick's vote. Absolutely, it's a great church and state. Erdick didn't support the idea back in January when atheists protested the plan at a city council meeting, and there is no changing her mind. Again, really, seriously, no. Sorry, Mayor. If you're looking for a vote from the District 5 person, not going to happen. District 2 newbie John Cariosha is open to the idea. i got to do a little more research on that. Yeah. Uh, I'm not up to speed on these uh, Ten Commandments and public places. And Mayor Sullivan says that there is no telling if and when the Ten Commandments issue could be put on the agenda. He says his first rule of business will be to feel out the new Cape Coral Council members. Reporting in Cape Coral, Alex Boyer, NBC2.